Hey everybody, welcome to our show this week. We're actually in our hometown here, Oshkosh, fishing with one and only Lightning Lance. And uh, you know what, we're, the fish are just starting to move pretty good in the rivers here, Lance. And yep. uh, we've got a little bit of current today. We've got some wind that we're fighting against, but you know, the last couple of days, you guys have been really catching some nice fish, and I'm a little surprised to see how many. Oh, oh there you see go. how many fish are coming out. Oh, George had one too. See how many fish are coming out of one of bag. I'll just flip them. There you go. I'll see how many fish are coming out of one of bag. You know what I'm doing? You guys are ripping it a little bit harder, and and uh, what I'm doing is basically just kind of. Uh, dragging that jig i got a slow poke on there and with a shiner and that thing just absolutely crushed it there but you know the cool part is lance we got our butts absolutely handed to us last nice winter yeah, so nice it's great to be in a boat and see that these fish are biting and we've got fish going all the way from Oshkosh all the way up to New London, mm -hmm. it, things are on fire. And you and I are gonna be leaving in a couple days and going up and fishing up on the pesh to go in the Menominee and Nocano. So right. there, this is like the time of year. Get out of your house, you guys. Get out and do some fishing because it is definitely the time to catch lots of numbers and some big fish. Hey, you can sure tell that uh, it's uh, March, Lance, because, uh, and it's kind of nice because right now it's at least raining, not snowing on us. Right. Anyways, what we did, we actually switched to using rigs, and uh, everybody else is pulling flies, uh, double hooks with minnows, and uh, Lance gave me a regular rig. And what I have on here, I've got a number 10 treble hook with a bead, and uh, basically I'm using a two ounce weight a little bit shorter leader than these guys are using on the flies. They're using about a four to five foot leader. I'm running about about a 40 inch leader on here with about a 12 inch leader on my dropper for the sinker. So, and basically I'm pulling mine a lot slower than they are and letting them latch onto it. Uh, these guys are pumping the flies a little bit faster. Uh, just kind of mixing it up and it's been about a horse a piece. We're moving just under about a mile an hour. Half mile, an hour, half mile an hour and we're kind of tacking across the river back and forth that seems to be key right there stop, nice. nice job no hey what were you doing differently now you got the same being george oh my gosh this is getting to be a conspiracy <laughs> yeah whatever works whatever it takes is that my rod again I kind of like this idea of you filming. <laughs> Every time you get one, you just throw me the ball. Right. Boy, I'll tell you what, you got to really, with that, just that trouble hook, you got to really let them lay on it for lay a little bit yep. versus yep. the fly. Got them on them flies, tip with minnows. Yep, I did. Nice job. He just wrapped them. Yeah, you had them hooked, right? Yeah, he just got wrapped around. Big one. I tell you what, George, you got the hot hand today, buddy. What's, lucky. what's going on? Hey, you said before you're 69. I, you I dude, you're telling the world. Dude, man. <laughs> <laughs> no way would I ever guess that you're that old. Yeah. What's your What's your key to longevity there? Fishing with Lance. Fishing with Lance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you don't have more gray hair. <laughs> Catching them on a few flies. Way to go, George. Yep, changing our technique a little bit, hey? Yep. I'll tell you what, we saw some guys uh, um, pulling uh, flies with minnows, and you said, hey, you know what? These guys are really tearing them up. Let's try something a little bit different. And so yeah, that's what we did. Switch gears, not afraid to do that. Yeah, and who's catching the first two? George. Again, did, were you doing something a little bit different now? Guys, really slow down on the, on the, on the pumping, huh? Yep. Good fish right there. Yep. Brunel's got one too. We got her going now, guys. Too. Now, basically, we're almost doing the same thing we do, you know, in about a month with the flies, Lance, huh? All we're doing differently is really just Tip add. With minnows. Okay, and we're you know. using, using that long lead too, huh? And slowing it down, you know. And You're not pumping it as no, fast, huh? a month huh? from now, we're gonna be pumping it pretty good. But Let's see that fish. Just pull two feet, slowly drop her back right now. Okay, and just slowing that technique down really made a, a big difference, Seems huh? to help, you know, who caught the first one that slowed her down? George, George. yep. So, George. keep swinging away at him. Well, we should, I mean, I keep saying George, it's GQ George. GQ George, GQ yes. George. Yep. That looks like a good fish, too. Now, so. I've got just uh, rigs on there. I just got a plain treble hook with a bead, which you tied these rigs up last night. Yep. Well, sure, everybody yeah, wants, once you get it in there. Oh, that's a nice fish. 
Oh, ho, 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 yeah, baby. That'll work. You know what? And Lance, that really kind of tells the story is because I grabbed the camera, put my rod down in the back, yeah. and I wasn't pumping that at all. No, these fish aren't wanting a lot of movement right now. No, oh, I think we just... Water we, temp is still on 34, 35. We definitely got something figured out. Watch it hold that fish up. That's a little bit better fish. Yeah, a little bit better. Hey, let's talk a little bit about what's coming up in April here on the Winnebago system. Uh, Lance, why don't you tell everybody at home what's going on? On the Winnebago system starting April 1st, it's going to go down to a three fish limit. Okay, no, no size. size limit, no right? No size. Okay. No, three fish per person. Um, they're doing something. They're doing something with the system. Uh, you know, I think everybody else would be a slot. A slot would be nice, but you're right. I would got to start off somewhere. And I like your idea that you said the other night there, Larry, of doing a five-year test. Yep, you know, see what happens. Years, see what's going on with the system. If Then come back. If everything's looking good, keep it the way it is. If, if not, not adjust. readjust. I like you're yeah. saying that. All the systems change every year, so. Hey, Lance, you uh, are guiding full-time. You have been for quite a while. And uh, let's tell everybody, really, the next month what you got going on. Next month, we'll be on the Wolf here for the next two weeks. Uh, then we'll be up in the Peshtigo area, Oconnell, Menominee. I'm um, going for the big pre-spawn walleyes. Okay. So everybody go, loves going up there. There you don't, you're only keeping one over 15, but nobody's really up there for that. You're up there for that chance of a, of a walleye. Right, that 30-inch plus fish. Right. And on average, I would say most of the fish that you're pulling in are seven to nine pounds, and throughout the day, you might get one or two that are above that 11, 12, 13-pound range. Right, good fish. All right, let's get back fishing, buddy. Looks good, yeah. Definitely doing some twirl in there. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Real nice fish. Keep her coming, don't stop. There you nice go. job. Good job, George. Gotta love that. GQ George. GQ George. No stinger hooks. He's got no. That. Let's hold that one up, Lance, and yep. show everybody what you got going here. George just switched colors and. George, that's one thing about him. If he's not catching them, he's changing. All the time. Right? That's what makes him such a good fisherman. Right. When he comes Boy, that up, thing's got, got that right down there, too, well, huh? He's got two of them in there. You know George's baits. Yeah. I have never seen that before. We got a show. He got a. Where's your players right there? Yeah. Let's, let me show. Let me see the mouth of that. He's got actually two flies together here, Lance. Let me see that. He's got two flies. He's got two flies in there together, and we'll show you guys what that looks like when he gets it out of there. Now, I have never seen anybody do that. George, I don't know how you ever came up with that idea, but it doesn't surprise me with you. So yeah. basically what There's he's got. Fish there. That's definitely a nice walleye. He's got two flies tied together. Typical George, you know, I know when he's coming up for the day of fishing, I just put one side of the boat aside for him, <laughs> for all his tackle and gear. And he knows it's that way, so life is good. Right. So. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, let's keep her moving. This week's tip of the week is brought to you by Mike's Country Meats, finest meats on the planet. Basically what I'm doing is I'm fishing with a uh, double jig. Uh, they're tied with a wire leader between the two. And the back end of the jig will flip up, uh, just tip with a minnow. And so as this goes through the water, this will just swing up and it's got a double hook on it so it's almost like a stinger hook and so that's this week's tip of the week you know the key is to what Lance is doing is we're not pulling right straight up river you just lost that one we're actually tacking to the side constantly and what that does when you're tacking to the side of the river channel is that you're speeding up and slowing down by keeping the ball mount at the same level right there and that seems to be key too versus again you know, we're pulling up the brakes and pulling down the brakes versus just going right straight up a straight line. And that definitely seems to make a big difference because any time that you're pulling across the current real slow and then tacking back and forth, again, doing two things is that you are speeding the baits up and slowing them down. One side of the boat slowing down, one side speeding up. And I noticed that when you just did that, when you were cutting my way, yeah. I slowed down a little bit and boom, I got bit right away. Yep. So, and it's again, presentation. You know, it's amazing how these fish, especially walleyes, have to have that bait presented to them just perfectly a lot of times before they're gonna hit that. 
You know, Lance, what an awesome day we had today out here on the Winnebago system. And, you know, you live right here on the lake, and you know that this system is really strong. We've got a tremendous amount of walleyes in it right now, a lot of different year classes. And I'm thinking with that three fish limit, myself, I think it's just going to get better. The system's going to come back strong. Yep. I agree. For sure. Hey, so if people want to get a hold of you and come out and do some fishing, let's tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. The easiest way to contact me is call my cell phone number, 920 four one zero nine nine two zero leave a message i'll get back to you as soon as possible or you, or you can, can go online water <laughs> yeah right or go online at creekdayguiding.com all right sounds good everybody hey you know what like i always say no matter what just remember it's a great day to be alive <laughs>